Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas went on the Frenemies podcast as she does every single week. And this week, they dished some major tea on Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and just really further exposed what a horrible person that Jeffree Star is. So if you're interested in hearing about all of that drama, then make sure that you keep on watching. <laughs> So Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein from H3H3 have a podcast called Frenemies. If you've been living under her rock, then you probably might not know that. But it was episode 17 is the episode that aired this week. So they've been doing this every week for a few months now. Today, they decided to talk about the whole situation with Hair by Jay and Jeffree Star and Trisha Paytas and Shane Dawson. And uh, if you aren't caught up on the tea, then Jeffree's former now hairstylist, Hair by Jay, went on an Instagram Live last week and completely and totally fat shamed and bashed Trisha Paytas for like 38 minutes straight. Um, it was probably one of the most vile horrible like just things people could say about somebody it was very very telling as to the kind of character that hair by jay has and also the kind of people that jeffree star surrounds himself with um after that uh jeffree star at first was kind of like condescending and patronizing towards trisha paytas about the whole situation saying that you know what girl um you have my number if you want to call or text me anytime we can hash this out but i'm not gonna participate in your internet circus or or something like that i'm kind of paraphrasing that but i'm gonna the the tweet is up here for you guys to read and Trisha Paytas really didn't like what uh how Jeffree Star addressed that Trisha Paytas also ended her friendship with Shane Dawson over this because uh apparently Shane Dawson was not handling this as well as he should have he still has not said anything regarding the situation publicly to anybody but apparently reached out to her behind the scenes asking just to squash the whole thing and be done with it even though uh Trisha Paytas was really 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 trying traumatized by the whole situation. Now, you guys, I am <laughs> fully aware how much of a troll Trisha Paytas can be. I understand. I am fully aware of it. Trisha Paytas has said some horrible things, has done some horrible things to different uh, groups on the internet to, to you know, uh, mock them, if you will, or troll them. And I am not by any means condoning any of that behavior that she has displayed in the past. However, I do not think that it is appropriate ever for someone to be threatened physically by another human being, especially a woman being threatened by a man, as is what happened in this situation. Allegedly, according to Trisha, Hair by Jay was spotted by her security guard twice driving by her house. And, you know, I just don't by any means think that is okay. So I want to make that very clear right now that I do not condone the actions that Trisha Paytas has done in the past, singling out minority groups and, uh, you know, attacking different YouTube communities and just, you know, trolling the internet as she does. I absolutely do not condone that. But I don't think that, that physical violence is needed or, or warranted in any situation, frankly. So that's my stand on all of that. But in this podcast that Trisha was on with Ethan Klein in their Frenemies podcast, podcast this week, Trisha had some very, very telling and interesting things to say about Jeffree Star and more about this Vegas trip, which you guys know if you've been watching my last few videos, I want to know what happened in Vegas. And we're finding out more and more and more from Trisha um, every single day, it seems like, and I'm living for it. I, I really want to know what happened in Vegas because I feel like it is really, really showing and exposing the true character of Jeffree Star. And it's something that we all, the public, have needed to see for a while more and more and more and more people are coming out about Jeffree Star and what a vile, horrible, evil human being he is. And it's been happening for the past few years. I don't know what it's going to take for us as a collective <laughs> to finally be like, you know what, Jeffree Star, you're done. I think we're almost there, but he still has so many stands. I just wonder what it's going to take for all these little stands to realize that they're supporting a vile, disgusting human being. In this uh, podcast, Trisha talks about how 
uh, Jeffrey is just so demeaning to his uh, people that work for him, his glam team, if you will. Boom Keck MUA, who is Jeffree Star's makeup artist, and um, Hair by Jay, who is his now former hairstylist. But apparently, um, there's um, allegations and things being said that when one of them will mention that, hey, I'm hungry, do you want to grab some food? Jeffrey will be like, oh, there's an old fry in the floor somewhere. If you want to eat that, go ahead. Like, what in the actual hell? That is just so disgusting. And like, it's not funny. It's just like demeaning and patronizing. Like, it just seems like Jeffree Star treats hit the people that are his glam team like his servants and like they like they're not actual people. I think he claims to like for them to be like his friends and stuff because he really is pretty alone right now and has nobody else to fall back on. But he did that to himself. I think in actuality, he treats them pretty poorly and they only stick around because maybe the money is good or maybe, you know, they just want that uh, and they want to be. Um, they want to benefit from that influence that he has, you know, um, but the way that he is treating them, it sounds like it's pretty, pretty freaking awful. And, um, I could never be a part or be around somebody like that. I, I don't know what it's going to take for the collective to realize that Jeffree Star is just a horrible human being and uh, we need to stop supporting him. Trisha also talks about how when they were in Vegas, Trisha was sharing some, oh, sorry guys, that was my dryer. <laughs> Trisha Paytas was sharing um, some really deep stuff about her suffering from depression and having some thoughts about maybe wanting to self-harm. And Jeffree Star allegedly said, well, here's the balcony here, girl, why don't you go ahead and jump off of it? You don't tell somebody who's opening up to you about depression and thoughts of self-harm here's a balcony go ahead and jump off of it what in the actual hell that is just truly disturbing and truly disgusting i really honestly can't even believe that when i heard it um, another thing that she was saying she went further into detail about the balenciaga situation so apparently she went to balenciaga bought a few things i think it was like some i think she said like some shoes um something else and there was a sweater involved or something and how um jeffrey went ahead and had the items sent up to his room in vegas um when they were shopping so that they didn't have to walk around with it all day and all of that. And uh, later on, when Trisha was trying to find her Balenciaga before she left, uh, Jeffree Star said that Maddie threw it in the trash. Maddie, who was his former assistant, threw it in the trash. Well, apparently, once... Trisha went to Shane when they were still friends and kind of talked to him about all of this stuff and kind of like just um, was like, man, this is what happened in Vegas. And, you know, it was really uncomfortable. This is really traumatizing for me. All of that. Apparently, a couple months later, Boomcack MUA, who is Jeffree Star's makeup artist, sent Trisha Paytas a text and was like, hey, girl, I have your Balenciaga. Like, do you want me to send it to you or whatever? Like, what? So why would you toy with Trisha Paytas and say that you threw her her balenciaga like super expensive products and merchandise in the trash when you had it the entire time did you give it to boom cack and say well screw trisha paytas here here's a free balenciaga gift it's trash anyway to me you can have it or were you just really trying to like make trisha paytas like like do the most when she was there, like jump through hoops and just have the, all these hurdles to overcome, like going and getting another a different sweatshirt before she went to the airport. Like why treat people the way that you do? Jeffree Star is, I don't like to bring age and ageism into anything or whatever, because it's not, I mean, you can be any age and treat people like poorly, but Jeffree Star is a little bit too old to be making fun of people's appearances, to be acting like a mean girl, to be bullying people. We don't stand a bully, you guys. That is completely ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think about all of this drama and these developments on the character of Jeffree Star down in the comments below. Um, do you still support Jeffree Star? Uh, when, or if you don't support Jeffree Star and you did previously, when was the change for you? When did you stop supporting him? I would love to have a conversation about it in the comments down below. You can follow me on all my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Beauty by Shelby. I'll leave that right on the screen for you there. And yeah, guys, um, I look forward to catching up with you guys 
guys on this drama sometime in a video very soon. If you are loving the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to check out some more videos, then YouTube should, should be suggesting a couple videos right here for you to choose from. So I'd, I would love it if you did that. If you're just dropping by to catch up on the latest tea and you don't have time for that, then I appreciate your view so much anyway. Um, drop a thumbs up before you leave and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.